Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are prepping for labor. So I am packing my hospital bag. I need to pack my nurse's gifts, all my baby stuff thank god is like good to go so if i was to bring a newborn home i would be set i think but yeah i just need to get myself prepared to go to the hospital and deal with postpartum and stuff so i thought i would take you guys with me i have all of my hospital bag stuff laid out i thought i would just pack with you guys share with you guys everything that i'm bringing okay okay, okay. i am today 38 and three days and honestly, today I've been feeling a little bit more crampy. I don't think I'm going into labor anytime soon. I feel like I've heard that second time moms or like just the more babies you have, the more like prodromal labor pains you have, which means like you start feeling crampy and having contractions before you actually go into labor. So it's just like been uncomfortable basically. And I'm just glad I'm getting this done today because I just, I just want to lay down. I got this duffel bag that I thought was cute from Amazon. I need to make sure I have some space for Omar's stuff. So if I don't have enough space in here, I may bring another bag. We're just going to pack me in the baby stuff today. Starting out with the cloud sandals. These were super trendy last summer. This summer, I don't think they're trendy as much but these are literally the most comfortable shoes for pregnant women they are so good I got my normal size I'm planning on using these as my like I'm gonna wear these up there I'm gonna wear them in the shower just because I mean they're like rubber and they'll dry super fast and then I'll wear them home you could do slippers like fuzzy slippers I wouldn't recommend it just because the hospital floors are so gross and like you never know what you can get on those some that you can like easily wipe off will be good for you moving on to pajamas I got myself another like long sleeve sleep dress that's that has the buttons I feel like this was just what I lived in last time in the hospital so I got a black one this time around and then I also got another little PJ set with buttons that's good for breastfeeding just as a second option for pajamas in case I got the first ones dirty I just thought the blue was just Perfect because I'm having a boy this time. Then I'm bringing a going home outfit, which is basically just loungewear. I literally wear these as pajamas all the time. <laughs> I just want to be comfortable because I'm literally just going home. I'm not going anywhere else or need to impress anyone. Just like a matching little lounge set will do. These have the little like maternity belly panel. These could also be used for postpartum. I just wanted to make sure that the pants were like stretchy enough. I'm packing one nursing bra and I just recently got this one. I have never tried it out. So I will let you guys know what I think and like my favorite nursing bras this time around. I never found like my favorite last time, which is why I never really had a recommendation to give you guys, but this one looks promising. It's by Mom Cozy. I have this little toiletry bag that I packed. I'm thinking this will be great for if I just need to grab something quickly. Deodorant, I have my lip balm in here. Lip balm and deodorant are like key when you're in labor. Do not forget these. Have some makeup remover, an extra hair tie. I went ahead and just put a pack of wipes in here just because I feel like now as a mom, I just literally use wipes for everything now. So I just need them at all times. This is something new I'm trying this time around. I heard a lot about these silverette nipple covers. Basically these help a lot with healing whenever you have like really cracked and like bleeding nipples after you start breastfeeding. So I'm gonna try these. I also went ahead and brought my favorite nipple butter and then these are little washable breast pads. Your milk usually doesn't come in like that first or second day after delivery. It usually takes a couple days. So I'm not thinking I'm gonna leak milk, but this is actually really good because whenever you do put the nipple butter, you don't want it getting like all over your nursing bra. So I like to have some pads so that I can just kind of keep it clean. Went ahead and packed a little bag of like minimal makeup just in case I feel like looking good for pictures, but we will see. This is the best toiletry organizer because it has a little hook so you can hang it on the back of the door and you can fit so much in here. I'm not really bringing that much, but I'm still gonna use this just because I love it. I went ahead and put my products in all these little travel size containers. I have a face wash, I have a body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. They don't really, at our hospital at least, they don't really have shampoo and conditioner. They just have like baby, Johnson's baby wash, and then like some weird foam stuff. They definitely bring your own hair products and body wash. Obviously a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm bringing some leave-in conditioner and just a moisturizer. Last time I brought my like entire skincare routine, 
I did not do that. Just bringing moisturizer and like face wash this time. I love these for postpartum. They are the disposable diapers. They're just so much more comfortable than what they give you in the hospital because they will give you mesh underwear and a pad, but that pad can really move around and stuff. And this is just so much more secure. I'm bringing like five of these. And if I need more than that, then I'll just use what they have at the hospital. <laughs> Almost forgot my hairbrush. I still have room in here to put Omar's toiletries, so I'm gonna work on that in a little bit. All that's left is baby stuff and then tech stuff. I have a 10 foot phone charger. You wanna bring a really long one because you never know where the outlet is and you wanna be able to charge your phone while you're laying in the bed. Is this even 10 feet? I don't think it is. <laughs> Maybe I need to get a bigger one. I don't think this is 10 feet. I need a longer phone charger, but yeah, phone charger and then AirPods. I'm also gonna bring my laptop, also gonna bring like all of our camera stuff, but I can't really pack that yet. Ooh. Baby items I'm bringing. I'm bringing like a couple of newborn onesies just in case he messes one of them up. I have like an extra change of clothes and I'm also bringing like a cuter going home outfit for pictures. I went ahead and threw in one of my little Velcro swaddles just because these are so much better than the ones they have at the hospital. And then all the photo props, I cannot show you this one because it has his name on it. I'm so excited, but I brought like the little name sign and then we have some more decorative swaddle blankets to lay him on for pictures. Also bringing a little newborn pacifier because our hospital doesn't provide these. I have actually another little swaddle and hat set coming from Amazon that I'm hoping comes very soon so I can pack that. But other than that, that's all I'm bringing for baby. They have everything else at the hospital, diapers, wipes, you name it, they've got it. This bag is stuffed, but that was everything that's going in here. I can't even close. Okay, this is all packed and ready. I just have to get all more stuff ready now. A couple more essentials that I'm bringing. I would not skip on bringing your own pillow. Pillows are very necessary for labor and delivery because we use them a lot for positioning. The ones at the hospital are not the best. Just have that sense of comfort from home. It's just so nice. So I'm bringing two, and I'm also bringing my own, like, fluffy blanket. I'm bringing my nursing pillow. I'm just gonna leave it in the car and if I feel like I need it, then I'll just have my husband go and grab it. Honestly, I feel like I got such a good hang of breastfeeding last time that like, I don't even know if I really need a pillow this time. Okay, this feels so good to have this pretty much done. I, like I said, I still need to go get all more stuff and pack the nurse's gifts. So let's go do that next. So we are going with the blue theme. I'm so excited. Emily actually helped me get all this stuff. So I have her to credit for this, but we got these really pretty baskets and then we f are gonna fill it with a bunch of snacks. If it's anything I know about nurses, we love our snacks and uh, this will really be appreciated and help them through their shift, so I'm super excited. I also went through my PR that I was gonna donate and I found some really good stuff that's like blue themed as well, so I'm gonna sprinkle some of this skincare in as well. We've got little pretzel crisps, we got chocolate chip cookies, we have chocolate, we have the little frappuccinos from Starbucks, and and just like a bunch of bars. We have Rice Krispie treats, almonds, so many good things. So let's get started. social media it's kind of a trend to do the nurses baskets but I promise you this was very rare that we ever received anything like this but it was very appreciated anytime we would honestly you could even just do a small gift for just your personal nurses like maybe one for your labor and delivery and one for your postpartum I'm gonna make another basket just like this for the postpartum nurses I like to do this because a lot of times you have just one nurse taking care of you but really like it's teamwork on the unit so I like to kind of gift the whole unit. They can leave this at the nurse's station and just kind of grab things throughout the shift. I'm just so excited. I think they are going to love it. Okay, just finished both the baskets. How good do they look, you guys? I have one basket for the labor and delivery nurses 
and one basket for the postpartum nurses. They can just bring this out to the nurses station and everyone can enjoy. And I just think it turned out so stinking cute. I love the blue theme. I don't know why this like solidified that I'm having a boy because I haven't been buying like anything blue at all. It's all been neutral. So this is like, oh, wait a minute. I really am having a boy. Hello you guys, it's the next day. I actually went to an OB appointment this morning so I wanted to give you guys a little update since I'm going to my weekly appointments now and she's checking me so that we can see the progress. I am now two to three centimeters dilated. Basically the baby could come any day now. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my last vlog before baby gets here. So I wanted to give you guys one more look at where we're at. Baby boy, I can tell this baby. He's definitely bigger than Elena was. I'm almost positive. Elena was seven pounds and I'm just guessing that this baby is like closer to eight. I feel like I am fully prepared now at this point to bring home a baby. Labor, just bring it on. I don't care like if I go a little bit early now because I feel like I have got my life together. Anyways, I would really appreciate you guys praying for me and I hope that it goes smooth, inshallah. <clears throat> and I will see you guys later on. Hopefully I'll have an update. I'm planning on vlogging the labor like I did last time, inshallah. So like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming content and I will see y'all in my next video inshallah bye